Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Bethany. And I'm Ken. And we're just a legendary couple in love that loves the legends of Vox Machina. Yeah. And so we're going to dive right into Season 2, Episode 10, uh, where we left off. Grog is set up for kind of a suicide mission, going against his own kind, so really yep. left off on a cliffhanger. Um, and, and that's all I got. If you want all of our Vox Machina reactions, check out the description of this video. we got a playlist there for you, which includes Season 1. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Isn't Whitestone supposed to be here? This is the right valley. Where's it gone? <sighs> What's with cities up and moving this <laughs> week? It was just cloaked. Or it's the wrong time. You're right, cloaked. Like Wakanda. Hmm. But keeping this cloaking spell up is murder on my complexion. <laughs> Three weeks? We've only been gone three days. I hate the bloody Fey Realm. <laughs> kind of lost them. <laughs> it's it's really not that funny. Aww. Um, but who are those guys? Bad news tensions. Then Grog could be in deep shit. Yep. Get there fast and help him. Ah. Wielder of the Titan Stone Knuckles, bend the knee. Ooh. Do you still have your shriveled nutsack? Or did you <laughs> give that to the dragon too? <laughs> so I challenge you, Kevdak, to single combat. <laughs> I mean, even when Grog was at his biggest, he was still smaller than that guy. The fight ends when someone dies. End of rules. There are no rules. Because I can't keep track of any more than that. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I'm kind of between weapons at the moment. <laughs> Very well. Uh, show me what you... Ooh. Oh, God. He took that actually pretty well. Oh God, you gotta find where your strength comes from. What do we have here? Kaylee! Fighting for the little guy. Yep. Leave Wait, go Pike! <laughs> yeah, smash his face. I think I'd have a big pencil. <laughs> Once you die, they're more than just friends. Damn me. Oh my god. Oh! <sighs> oh! A soft spot for the wee folk. Who wants to watch the bitch's head squash? There we go. Where does your strength come from? Where does your strength come from? Come on, Grog. Where does your strength come from? from? I would like. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Kick his ass, Grog. Yeah. Rog still has some fighting. Holy shit. Oh shit. Gotta rip his arm off or something. Oh, come on, 
Groundhog. Still the meek coward who ran crying for the hills. But something has changed. You think you could stop me? Friends, what was that? <laughs> my strength comes from my friends. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Thing is, I got more. <laughs> I'm not smoking up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck shit. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, I love that. Ooh. Nice, Percy. <laughs> She like got her shoulder shot off. Nice visual. Yeah, that was a great shot. Good kitty. Come on, bring out a uh, trinket. Trinket can help though. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Get the gauntlets. Mm. There you go. There you go. Oh, hanging on to like the tendons. Oh, oh God, he's ripping it. Why is he ripping it? <laughs> uh oh. Yes. Hey now. Go, kid, go. Son, father. Oh, angry trinket. Mm -hmm. Wanna try something crazy? Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, absorbed him. <gasps> oh, fucking brilliant. We were trinket with the guy's hand inside. Ooh. Well done, Grog. Grog! No! No, 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 no! It's okay, buddy. <sighs> Hello, buddies. <laughs> we gotta work on your landings. <laughs> <laughs> so what, cousin? You're in charge now. No. He said you're free. I finally stood up to the old man. I paid a price. Do what you have to. He's gonna put you in charge. He's gonna free you, yeah. And I see you have the strength to do what your father can never do. Lead with honor. There you go. As Thunderlord of the Herd of Storms! <laughs> you're right, beautiful. What will you do? Oh, nothing. Maybe kill a dragon. <laughs> Here to join me. Because <laughs> he needs friends. That's where his strength is. <laughs> I almost killed you out there. Hmm. I nearly shot myself. Me too! All the and he was awkward. <laughs> No, it was easy. 
Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> oh crap. Uh, that's all right. Maybe some other time. Oh, facts. Too much? I thought I was being cool. <laughs> I met a boy who was just my type. Ooh. But in the bed couldn't satisfy. No. Humber <laughs> 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 Him too. <laughs> Belly claw. Enclave feels the might of the herd of storms. Yeah. <laughs> I could sketch up a few diagrams, work out the proper. There you go, person. Gotta wake up at dawn. It's fine. We can discuss the timeline later. <laughs> Actually, I could use a break. Escort me upstairs. <laughs> now, Scanlan. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, right? Oh, right? <laughs> oh, that sounds fun. But do you know what's even more fun? Ooh, do you feel that? That's chemistry, and we have it. We sure have something. Huh. So, uh, tell me about yourself. You already sleep with her, like. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, Dr. Dranzel spun many a tale about you, Scanlan Shorthalt. Yeah, I mean, that's not surprising. That guy seemed like. He's too old to be the daughter, right? He's pretty old. I'd already heard from my mother. Huh. You, uh. <laughs> I. She would be proud. Proud I'm finally meeting the silver tongued devil who whispered empty promises in her ear, then disappeared, leaving her with nothing but a song and me. Wait! Her dad? I'm daddy? Oh! <laughs> Fucking awesome. Awkward. What a reveal. Especially with the whole like scanning, like you can call me daddy if you want to. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Flashbacks to the uh to Dragon Ball Z abridged with uh Balma and Trunks and just like you can call me mommy. Oh. <laughs> or I oh. I could be your mommy. Oh wow. Damn. Scanlon, see that's why you can't always think with your penis. Yeah. And Scanlan does. Yep. And it's why, you know, he's making the wrong decisions. And, you know, I mean, he clearly has feelings for Pike and Pike has feelings for him. And then he goes off and just uh, chases the first piece of tail that, you know, bats an item. Well, that's because that's easy. Exactly. And without any consequence, because he doesn't care. And any consequence until now. Well, yeah. Now, now he's learning a bit about those consequences mm -hmm. and what happens after he leaves town. Yep. But Grog, so so Grog was awesome. Yes, he was. Um, and I love what Vex did at the end there, I mean, pulling out the the little um, pendant, releasing trinket, and then tossing Grog in the air. I mean, that was that was just beautiful. Yeah. Uh, brilliant move by by Vex there, and. Now, so I got three vestiges. Um, they need to get the sword back from the dragon after they kill him. I'm still just super impressed with how the reveal from Scanlan and they got the girl being her daughter. Well, and that's why I said, like, she's too old to be the daughter, right? Because, like, I yeah. started to sense, I'm like, she's got an axe to grind. At first, I thought she was the jilted lover, like, right, as, yeah. as you said. And I was like, no, she's pissed off for someone else. Mm. And I was like, and I'm not getting the impression that it's, like, a friend. Like, this is a little more of an axe to grind than yeah. your friend made a poor choice and slept with the wrong guy. This is this is worse than that. So she's um she's got daddy issues. I would have thought, I mean, you know, that's this would have happened to Scanlan a lot earlier, given yeah. you know, how much he's been around, that he would have had, you know, a few children out there. And he might. Yeah. And just never knew about them because he never stuck around long enough to find out. So you think they're gonna be able to take down the the dragon in uh in this season? I think they're gonna get the vestige. Okay. And and I think they'll kill that dragon, but that dragon's not the master dragon. Yeah, true. So I don't think we're getting the master dragon this season. Oh yeah, definitely not the master dragon for this season, but I was wondering if they were gonna kill one dragon this season, I'm not sure. I also have to say that I did love Scanlan's line about how you know we don't get to choose what part we play, mm -hmm. 
but that a true performer always commits. And I thought that's, I don't know, like maybe Scanlon just found the key to life. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Like you don't get to pick the life that you're born into and you don't necessarily get to pick every step along the way, but committing to your life, trying to live it fully into the best of your ability. I think that is essentially what life is all about and what will ultimately make you happy. Um, so I, I think Scanlon oddly may have just answered the age old question. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that uh, that was a great, great quote and uh, really enjoyed that one. It was interesting seeing Keyleth, uh, you know, finally have the courage to go back up to, to Bax, ask him to dance. And, um, you know, so clearly she still is interested in him. Um, but Bax, man, I'm worried about Bax. The yeah. most out of everyone in the group, most worried about him uh, surviving this season and... Um, yeah, what the ultimate price is going to be with the Raven Maiden or whatever, the Maiden of Ravens. You let us know what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you want all of our Box Machina reactions, we got playlists below in the description of this video, along with a link to our Patreon. You can get early ad-free access, and watch our full watch-along reactions. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Box Machina Season 2, Episode 10, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. <laughs>